What? No shot. This is real. What the fuck? Death toll from heat wave in Portugal and Spain rises to 17. What? I don't remember the article, but two years ago, scientists predicted the UK getting to 104 degrees Fahrenheit in the year 2050, but they were predicted to do that. But they were predicted to do that a couple of years ago. Farmers from South Dakota here, and we've had more hail in the past five years than the previous 25 combined. Isn't Florida endangered uh, due to the rise of sea levels? Yes, not just Florida. Everywhere where there is like the sea. Here, let's take a look at that. It's not a big deal, right? Climate change is not a big deal. That's just waves, by the way. That's not like a tsunami or anything. That's just waves. <laughs> it's kind of wild that, like, we are literally watching the planet not die necessarily, but kill us and kill all life on it. And, and we're just like, nah, it's all right. Like even here's the thing I don't understand all these like fucking Bible nerds and shit. How do you not see the end times? You know what I mean? How, how do you not recognize like the end times are, are happening currently? I guess maybe because it's not like direct and immediate. And like, because it happens over the course of like five years, 10 years that like those changes slowly, but surely become norm, like the norm. Sorry, brother, I see it. Still can't believe it, though. Yee, yee. They think they will get raptured. They want it. It's, uh, it's very, very, very strange to, to watch. I mean, here, another video I'll show you of the fucking climate change psycho... Uh, like, the, the climate change psychosis. Okay? Here. Um, where is the New York subway? The New York subway rain video? Like, this is the New York subway every time it rains? Here, waterfalls. Like, look at this shit. Look, 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 look. Look at this fucking shit, bro. You think this is, do you think this is normal? Now, this isn't just that like, you know, extreme erratic weather conditions are, uh, are, are becoming the norm, but this is also a perfect representation of like, this is also a perfect representation of how ill-equipped we are in the wealthiest nation on earth, in one of the wealthiest fucking cities on the fucking planet that has more billionaires uh, than any other city on the planet. So ill-equipped to deal with it. Like our infrastructure is dog shit. The couple that hosted the party said they were pissed the footage from their event was used as a part of the climate change Green Deal agenda. I mean, dude, I can't help. I can't help but be like, all right, I hope you get ass fucked by an octopus then, you know, next time there's a fucking situation like that, you dumb bitch. Seriously, what the fuck do you mean? Like, oh, the climate ch change agenda. It's like literally hitting you in the fucking face and you can't even comprehend it. Like, you're so fucking stupid. Like, what, what, do you, what do you mean? The climate change agenda. You dumb bitch. It's in front of you. It's in your fucking face. Ironically, though, you know who will save us, dude? The motherfucking Dutch. These dudes have literally figured out the technology to build on the sea, okay? If they don't all die from, you know, the inevitable sea level rise, I'm sure they'll be able to figure it out for the rest of us, okay? I'm, I'm so Dutch-pilled, it's not even funny. I, I just... All it took was for me to see the Netherlands. I'm, I'm done. I hate that. I hate that, like, uh, I, it, it, the, the Dutch Andes are, like, literally, li like, the Dutch lovers, uh, American Dutch lovers and Western Dutch lovers in general are the most annoying, annoying fucking dickheads on the internet. Usually. And I don't mean not just bikes. He's great. But um, there are so many fucking annoying Andes who are, like, sock dems, you know? Uh, that, that claim that they're sock dems, but they're like piece of shit liberals who act like they're fucking sock dems or whatever. But, um, but yeah, I, I am becoming one of them without being annoying and making it my entire personality to be a fucking, uh, Yimby. Monsoon season is hitting Arizona right now. Crazy thunderstorms. The wind is still hundred degrees out. It's bizarre. Not ABD de oluyor mu? Lan ne ABD işte oğlum New York amına koyayım. ABD bu.
Oh, this was fun too. Little fun, little sinkhole moment in New York. Look at that. They're doing that to liberals, brother. God is punishing the libtards. Do we think we can fix it by 2050? The G7 meeting a couple months ago, nothing has happened. We're all dead. The government don't give a fuck about us. They want everything for themselves. No. We won't be able to fix it. Because we can't even have fucking trams and, and, and sustainable uh, or more sustainable ways of public transport. Why? Because American car culture is so deeply embedded. It's a, the, the capitalist car manufacturers and the oil and gas industry have destroyed the American consciousness permanently, okay? People think that cars are individuality. So you can't tackle it on that front. Our reliance on fossil fuels is also a part of a, a permanent fixture of our minds. You can't change that. You can't tackle that either. There's nothing we can do about this. I'm sorry to report this, but the only way to fucking tackle climate change is not going to be through capitalism. The only way to tackle climate change, just like any other issue, is the obvious choice that we have ahead of ourselves, socialism or barbarism, okay? And it is very obvious that we are heading towards fascism as a, as a mechanism of control and barbarism as our inevitable demise. Every single day that I live on this planet, I, I realize that, like, that is our future, okay? You look at sinkholes opening up in the Bronx. You look at the fucking subway flooding. And then you think, will the Joe Biden administration be able to pass infrastructure change or, or a comprehensive infrastructure package? No. 33% of Americans have consistently believed that climate change is fake. It's not real. That's what we're living in. Adam, something would just say we need leftist corporations. I mean, fuck that guy. Who gives a shit? It's just wild that we are in a situation where like either the country is on fire or underwater for like a good amount of the year. It's just not going to happen. Shell knew about climate change three decades ago and kept digging up that planet poison, helping us uh, to get to the point that thousands will die in climate change induced heat waves. Shell, have you tried not using a tumble dryer? No air con, no sweat. Here are our tips for keeping cool and saving energy when it's hot outside. Yeah. The individual responsibility to fucking uh, mitigate climate change, anthropogenic climate change is also a man-made invention by the oil and gas industry and a lot of you dumbasses even in this fucking community and even on the leftist spaces have eaten that propaganda up individual responsibility let's figure out a way to like uh dude individualism rugged individualism yes calling everyone dumbasses helps if someone is a dumbass should i not admit that should i not recognize that what do you want me to do spare their feelings the unfortunate reality is that uh, this is propaganda propaganda that people believe in okay so what do you want me to do?